Hey, yo, what's going on? Ajax came out yesterday. We made ourselves a nice little hybrid list over here that allows you to maximize Ajax value as well as counter most of the meta, which honestly is just a lot of Arishim. We're going to jump right into Ajax, what he does, as well as a deck overview, and then we're going to break each card down individually. Ajax is a 5-7 ongoing plus one power for each card afflicted with negative power. You're using this to maximize with a Typhoid Mary for your side of the board, a Hazmat for some global maximization, and you have Mystique to copy this since it is an ongoing card. This is going to be the deck list, my friends. So since there is so much Arishim at the moment, you have Darkhawk in this list, and you do have Korg for your potential turn six play. Um, you're using this to be able to play Mystique under an Invisible Woman. We'll discuss everything about why each card is in this list and substitutions for them as well. And I'll have an honest review of Ajax at the end of the video. So starting off our decks, of course, we do have Korg. Korg is great synergy for your Darkhawk, a great late game turn six play or an early game disruption card you can play. Um, you can use Maximus in this list instead. If you want to go more of a Ronin route, I was testing both options uh, the Ronin approach was pretty solid, um, not necessarily into Airship because of just how disgusting Airship is right now. So that's why we have Korg and Darkhawk as the main set of cards, but the Ronin package is the alternate. We have Hazmat in this list because it just synergizes perfectly with Ajax. If you're doing this at the end of the game, you're more than likely going to hit the rest of the entire board. Or if you're tucking this behind your Invisible Woman um, or, you know, with your Mystique and stuff. It works well. And then, of course, you have White Widow. The Widow's Kiss also does affect Ajax because it does negative power on your opponent's side of the board. It's also a great clog function. Um, and if your opponent does still fill up the board, you can use your Hazmat on the Widow's Kiss um, to make sure it still has that negative power that your opponent maybe was forgetful about or they're always expecting the Hazmat. Who knows? But you have a couple different mix-ups that allow you to clog and um, either maintain a lead, be able to either have priority going into a final turn or just take up board space for your opponent. The cool thing it with Invisible Woman here, okay? So Invisible Woman, you're playing to hide a Mystique, followed by a Hazmat potentially in turn five, or you're using this to hide some potential other combo cards too. Um, it's an alternate to Supergiant. The way it works, which I'll actually show in the video too, is whichever card is played first is the card that gets precedent. So if you play Invisible Woman and then you play cards underneath Invisible Woman, those cards will reveal before the Supergiant cards reveal. But if you play Supergiant first, and then play, of course, your card on turn five. That'll flip over before your cards you play under Invisible Woman, which I do showcase in the gameplay. Today, you're using Invisible Woman to hide your Mystique and then a Hazmat for an end game um, final play in order to get some maximum Ajax value. So you can also get your Mystique to get the bonus and Hazmat hitting at the end of the game. Your opponents filled up the board to the best of their ability. You filled up the board to the best of your ability. So you're able to maximize the amount of Ajax power and Mystique power you gain. Um, or you do this with Darkhawk. So like you can on curve on turn five, play an invisible woman and a mystique. And then you just play your Korg before you play your Darkhawk. So your opponent doesn't know you have Darkhawk until the very end of the game. And then it's just too late because you haven't thrown any rocks into their deck. They're running Arishim and you're going to have more power than most of the cards that they're going to have on the board. And that's an easy just way to steal cubes. Invisible woman, I'm telling you guys, just steals cubes. And like I said, we have Mystique. So Mystique copies Darkhawk in this list. It copies Ajax in this list. It would copy Ronin if you ran the Ronin package instead. Um, but you're tucking Mystique either behind your Invisible Woman or behind a Supergiant. If you don't have either of those, um, you can still play your Ajax or your Darkhawk on curve. Um, but you have Cosmo to protect your Mystique or to protect your Ajax slash Darkhawk slash Ronin at the end of the game from a Shang-Chi or a Rogue. Um, you're just hoping you have priority going into your final turn. This also is good to be able to do have some Blob tech, um, which some opponents still are playing like Blob out on turn five. So with a super giant, if you can kind of get the Cosmo on the right lane, that also can help. Or you can even double Cosmo. So like you could Mystique the Cosmo as well. So there's two lanes blocked that they can't play their cards on, which works really well. And then you have Debris. Debris is falling more into the Ajax set on this list. So you're throwing rocks on your side of the board, your opponents on the board. If you hit those rocks with Typhoid Berry, um, that's negative one power on each of those rocks, which would be plus two power for your Ajax. 
If you're hitting them with hazmat, of course, as well, that is going to be negative one on each of the rocks on your side of the board, negative one on each of the rocks on your opponent's side of the board, which would be plus four for your Ajax or for your Mystique as well. So we're using debris as a clog function and something that can combo well with hazmat. With Red Guardian over here, this is like a tempo, kind of like a control card in a way. You're using this to potentially hit a Luke Cage, hit an Iron Man, which is something I feel like is very solid, of course, to hit right now, uh, with Tribunal still kind of coming back and being a little rampant. Um, it also applies negative power to your opponent's side of the board. You can hit this on a Widow's Kiss, so your Widow's Kiss always has at least negative two power on your opponent's side. The only way to get rid of that is with a Luke Cage. Um, so it just gives you an extra power for your Ajax because it is negative afflicted power for your opponent. Super Giant, we're using this list to be able to get our combos off late in game. Stop opponents, turn five combos, um, hide our ongoing cards and our Mystique. Um, it's really great to hide a Mystique in Hazmat or just hide a maybe Mystique White Widow, Mystique even Invisible Woman. You're just hiding your Mystique with Super Giant in order to make it so she can copy the last card you play. So you always play a, an ongoing card last, but do not play Typhoid Mary as your ongoing card last. Um, Typhoid Mary is in this list to help you with your Ajax value to at least get some Ajax value on your side of the board if you don't draw your Hazmat. Because if your board is full, and let's say at the end of the game, you're playing your Ajax and you're playing your Mystique, um, that is negative 11 or negative 10 power on, on your side of the board, which gives Ajax plus 10, which would give Mystique plus 10. Of course, minus one, so it's plus nine actually for Ajax, plus nine for Mystique, but then Mystique's a three nine, and then Ajax is, is a five sixteen. I think that's pretty solid. Um, it kind of goes hand in hand. I was talking to Stefan about this the other day too, is like the Hazmat and Typhoid Mary, he said, is just like the perfect package for Ajax. I totally see it. Of course, Typhoid Mary doesn't afflict your opponent's side of the board, but the 10 power is actually pretty decent. And if you're staggering it in the right way, maybe you're playing Ajax on one side, Mystique and Typhoid on another. It actually works pretty well. Um, and then, of course, like I was saying, Airstream is just everywhere right now. So we have Darkhawk. Darkhawk's also featured in Spotlight this week. So if you did pick up Darkhawk and you picked up Ajax, this could be a good list for you to be able to try out both cards. Um, Airstream is really allowing you to play Darkhawk wherever you'd like and whatever you would like because there's no way for them to actually really get every single card um, out of their deck. So you have Darkhawk in there to be able to maximize that value. It's another great copy for Mystique. Um, and I love this variant. It's absolute banger. But if you don't have Darkhawk, you could do a Ronin package, like I was saying. You could swap out Darkhawk um, and instead do Ronin. And instead of Core, you can do Maximus. Um, and then, of course, you have Ajax, the brand new Series 5 card. Um, so you have your Mystique that can copy it because it's ongoing. You're afflicting negative power with Hazmat at the end of the game. Um, hiding it behind Invisible Woman. Or even maybe if you want to play it on tempo, if there's a lot of stuff on the board. Ajax value there. You have the Typhoid Mary to help with Ajax. So, like, this is still more of an Ajax build. Um, if you wanted to build it on Darkhawk, you would do, of course, some other things. But we're trying to clog, afflict, and profit. That's pretty much the main main gist over here. Um, there's not a substitution for Ajax. If you don't have Ajax, I would just kind of just alter and not do the hazmat kind of package here. Um, I would do just more Ronin Darkhawk things. Um, it's more of a Ronin. I feel like it's a more of a Ronin Darkhawk world opposed to a Devil Dino Darkhawk world, which we used to be living into. Um, if you don't have Super Giant. It gets a little tricky, too. You have Invisible Woman instead of Supergiant. Um, you could potentially play Iron Land instead um, at that four cost or play just a Shang-Chi. Um, there's not really another card that does exactly what Supergiant does. Um, with Red Guardian, you could potentially do, like, a Rogue. There's not a card that afflicts and, like, would disable an ongoing um, card like Red Guardian, but that would be a great sub. would either be Mobius, Rogue, um, in that situation, or maybe even an Enchantress. Um, if you don't have White Widow as well, I could think Shadow King. Um, but like Shadow King, you're not necessarily playing on, on tempo because if you do, you know, reset your opponent's cards, you know, they're not going to have the negative affliction. You could also do U.S. Agent. U.S. Agent would be um, interesting because it also afflicts negative power to your opponent's side of the board. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the main gist of the deck list and the cards. We're going to jump in some gameplay. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys a brief little review I have of Ajax here at the end of the video. What's Commando playing? Not playing Airstrom? Okay. Let's see what we can do over here. Kitty Pride. Um, did Eminem say something about Ajax's most recent album? I don't know. Did he? Did he? No. Card. So Red Guardian hits Thema, gives us some Ajax value. If we don't draw 
the hawk who can make this work. Okay, so they're playing a dark mode version. Gotcha. I wouldn't play Goose. I would not play Goose. In this situation, we could play Typhoid here. They move Nocturne, they die. If they move Nocturne, they die. Um, if they play Mystique, I don't think Iron Lad would be interesting, actually. If I do, I'm thinking Cosmo is just better. I think Cosmo is just better, especially if that is Mystique on the right. Let's freaking go, baby. That is how we do it. That is how we freaking do it, my friends. Now, Makari going right does kill us, but good dog. Good dog. Okay. Um, Mystique is not only just against Arishim. Mystique also works against just like... It helps with a dark hawk. It also have, helps with um, what you call it. It also does help into instances with um, just other lists if you want to do Ajax value. So that's why we're using Mystique in this. But yeah, I would take um, debris out of your current list, Derp. Take debris out of your current list. Um, this is actually not bad. Um, I can do this into this. I have Dark Hawk, I have Mystique. Deathlock on the rock. Okay, we're just playing down tempo Dark Hawks now? Or Deck of Deathlocks? Watu. And then we get hazmat value. Hmm. 
Um. I just play Darkhawk, play Mystique right, and then I play Cosmo middle. Oh, you think we go, we do this into that instead? And then we go Darkhawk right? That is also super hot. I like it. Oh, what is what is this? Okay, LDS stuff. Could ghost work? Ghost could work. In case they do some fancy business. Ghost would help you lose priority in this situation. Um, sorry, we just did the wrong order of this and then that instead. Colson. What? Hey, you found a rook. Wow. That's just disgusting. Victory. Invisible Woman Mystique is so freaking good. Oh my goodness. If we don't play the Invisible Woman Mystique there, on turn five, by the way, we don't get four cubes. They retreat as soon as they see the Dark Hawk. So being able to hide something behind Invisible Woman is the better play. Oh, we got Arishem. Cool. That's what we needed. Bar with no name. Love that for us. Borrow no name is gonna cook. I tell you what, cook. Um, I love that we bricked over here too. Also, Super Giant's gonna help us with the Dark Hawk things. Tolson. Uh, um. Don't you think about it. I wouldn't. Yeah, let's just nope. over thirty. Why not? Why not? Okay, they have my cards now. Cool. We do get Loki'd. You think we you think we win just with a snap over here? Snap. Hmm. Why don't I get some super giant here? Super giant red guardian. How's my dark hawk already 37? Because they have 27 cards in their deck. Yes, they have 27 cards in their deck right now. Systems go. Mm -mm -mm. Super Giant allows us to get this combat. We lose to what? Legion? Legion hurts us. Uh, they also got one from Coulson and from Loki. So, uh, But Super Giant allows us to be able to play Mystique later. Why not Mystique Hazmat? Uh, because of this guy. Because Darkhawk is bigger than Ajax. We switched up the Ronin package here. Hey, I found a rook.
Mm. Not the Cosmo. Not the Cosmo. <laughs> and the Mbaku. And the Mbaku. Damn. Damn. Mm mm mm. Yeah, super giant value. And I think this is just another alternate version, like we're showing in the video right now. If you're running into more Airshim, which you're running into a lot of Airshim right now, um, you run this iteration against a lot of Airshim matchups, and then you run the Ronin iteration if you're running into a lot of Ronin matchups. Widow, I could see it. We're also facing some Airshim over here. There's another just prime example. Um, Taskmaster could work with a Dark Hawk. Or if you're playing your Ajax out after doing a lot of hazmat stuff, it's possible. Um, but I don't think you really see Taskmaster in this type of list. Okay, we are they cable us because they can just never have enough cards. Understandable. We're gonna go White Widow. They don't have any plan to play on three. Okay, I like this a lot. That's a good that's a great start actually. We are also going to play Cosmo here. We play Cosmo here because this sets up some other great stuff here for us. They cannot blob here on the right now. They can't blob, and I can still super giant. This is really good. Um, let's go. Oh, that's freaking spicy. The super giant's gonna be nice. Echo. Great play with the echo, though. Great play with the echo. So this is where we got to think about stuff, okay? They can play a Darkhawk if they want to play a Darkhawk. They may have my Mystique. But. If I go Hawk here, or if it's just... Also, what's up, Sino? How you doing, King? Welcome in. If we do this. There's the Mystique. If I do this into this, and then I Korg, this seems pretty good to me. Into the Aerosim and stuff. We have Darkhawk coming on the left. We have Mystique that's going to happen after the Darkhawk happens because of the order we're playing things. This should be really, really good. Darkhawk's going to be pretty huge. It depends on what they have in the middle. Um, but I do believe this is the order that Supergiant's going to work since Supergiant went first. They Arishem. Okay. Arishem into Darkhawk. Mystique. And then a Cork. Hey, man. I'm Cork. Into a Red Guardian hitting the Korg. And then Shocker. There we go. Perfect. So at the moment, I think Ajax is okay. I believe Ajax would be a C tier card just right now in the current state of the meta. He does have games where he does get really big. He does have games where he can combo with Mystique so you can spread out some power vertically. I just don't think it's the perfect time for him. I don't think his stat line is that great. I think he would have been better as a four cost than a five cost. Um, but making him work right now isn't honestly too difficult if you can use um, or duck priority, I feel. Um, being able to play hazmat later in the game or hide it behind the invisible woman like we're doing here. I just feel like there's other five cost cards you would rather be playing right now, which is why we have Darkhawk in this list as like an alternate line and not having this as a primary win con. Um, so I think he's just in a tough spot. I don't think he's a bad card, but I don't think he's necessarily a great card right now. I wouldn't suggest opening spotlights this week unless you don't have Darkhawk or you don't have Beta Ray Bill. 
I think Darkhawk is a necessity, especially right now in the meta. So I would try to open for Darkhawk if you can. If you do get Ajax, it is a Series 5 card, but it's not something I think you should be aiming for. At the moment, I think he's a 2.5 out of 5 stars right there in the middle. Get a C. It's a passing average grade, but nothing crazy.